Hey guys, I know it's been quite a while. Um, just had a lot of stuff going on. I am so excited. It's finally hiking season. Yes. <laughs> Hell, that's so dorky, but whatever. That's me. So about a week and I'll finally be getting back out there on a trail. Be hitting the pen hody. Um, I don't know if you saw the video or what, but if you check out the pen hody vest, 2022 video um in there it shows that i had won a gift that was a tent a sleeping bag a sleeping pad pad sorry a bear bag and hiking poles and i am going to be taking those on this trip first time using them um had them about five months and have not been able to get out on them and but since we are going to the Ben Hody trail and I got them from the Ben Hody fest I figured what better way than to try them out um, they are a little bit heavier than my normal gear so we'll have to adjust with that but it's you know a four day or four night five day trip so I figure this would be the perfect time to try it out. So I'm going to get those out and set them up um, for the first time and also to show them to you guys. All right, I am doing this inside my house because we have 25 mile per hour winds today and I just don't want to fool with that. Uh, we had some storms, we had a bunch of poles go down and some the electricity go out in pretty much my whole entire town, um, but it's all fixed now, so, but anyway. This is, let me make sure I get the name right, the REI Passage 2. It weighs 4 pounds and 2 ounces. Okay, so this is without the rain fly. If you notice, there's the D-shaped door there. And there is also a door on this side. That is something that I'm going to enjoy. Um, we'll see how it is with the rain fly on it, but um, if I'm able to use both doors, that'll be great, because that way, no matter how I set it up, I'll be able to get out and wear my regular tent. I have to make sure I set it up in a certain direction. So, Let's see if we can look inside. All right, let me pause you. I'll get right back to you after I get this open. Okay, so there's the toggle to open it up. Let's see there. There's tons and tons of room in here. Um, I'm used to a one-person tent, so that's going to be great. Let's see. All this headroom, feet room, I'll be able to put my bag on one side. All right, let's get the blow up pad and I will show that to you. The one that came with it is the Stratus insulated air pad. It is one pound seven ounces so basically one and a half pounds um i'm gonna get that set up and i'll show that to you too um the r value for this is a three um so that should be good for what i'm doing all right so i think it took me i meant to tell you about three minutes to set up the tent and that was the first time i've ever done it um it's very simple um you basically just laid the tent down the ground cover is already attached to it you can detach it if you want to um, so if it's a bad storm or something then when I go to pack it away I can you know take it off of that um, and then you just lay out the two poles cross one over the other one um, stick the four corners in and then put each of the little prongs on they're just kind of like right there so, and that's it. Um, I will show you what it looks like with the rain fly when I get done, just so you can see what the overall look is. Here's the pad. As you see, there's probably an 
inch or so up there and about two inches there so we can go like that and I get one and a half to two inches on each side um, as you see it only takes up half the tent so I can put it over there and put my gear here and have all this space to be able to sit um, so I'll have like my sit pad and that kind of thing and I can you know do this picture a nice little campfire right there that's and as you see there's plenty of head space um, yeah all right I'm going to get the sleeping bag out and tell you about that and I'll go ahead and put the rain cover on so that you can see what the tent looks like with that all right this is the rain cover um, that was also fairly easy to figure out it's got the vent here you've got some toggle tie outs um, we'll see what I keep on those usually I end up taking some of that off um, you've got the buckles here which I love this is where it would be staked there's the door open um, it's a little off-centered I'll have to adjust the straps not too bad though it's also got a second vent over here which I really like that's gonna help a lot with the condensation this is what the one full side would look like pull it out it's gonna give you some room on both sides for the vestibule like I said the second door there she is and now I'll get the sleeping bag out all right here we go this is the trail break 30 degree long sleeping bag um, I am only 5'4", so I'm not sure how that's going to work with me, but we're going to give it a try and see. Um, I might actually like that because I'll be able to pull it up farther over me in case I get cold. Um, but yeah, let's get it out. Alright, so here it is. It's this nice creamy gray color on the top. It's got the orange in the same dark color, so everything matches. Same colors as the tint. It's a mummy sleeping bag. So it gets a little bit shorter at the bottom. There we go. Nice and comfy and cozy on the inside. Um, it says right here. Um, you can't actually see that, but I can tell you that it's a 30 degree bag. It says that 38 degrees is its comfort level. Uh, this is something I haven't had on a sleeping bag before, and I really like that. I can stick my phone down in this pocket to help keep it warm in it, my chargers or anything like that. And I won't have to worry about anything, batteries draining, that sort of thing. Um, overall... I really like the looks of it. Let's see if it's comfy here to lay down. Ooh, of course, I'm inside, so I'm not getting in the back, but feels good. Moving around, it's not too noisy. That's definitely important. Uh, other thing I need to find, I also got a pair of Lecky poles in that gift. And I am definitely looking forward to trying those out as I have not had a nice pair of hiking poles yet. I've had poles from Walmart and Amazon. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if one of the big name companies is, you know, really that much better than the cheaper pairs. But I'm sure they are. I've heard great things about Lucky Poles. Um definitely super excited to try that out um not exactly sure if i'm going to use the bear bag that came with it or if i'm going to possibly pair that bag with the bag that i already have um because i am out of odorproof bags right now so i may just use it as like a double layer um 
and see about that if I can't get an odor-proof bag um, just to, you know, help a little bit more. But of course, I put my food in double layer bags anyway, so it'd be like four layers. <laughs> um, we'll see. And so, yeah, next week um, I will be going out to the Pinhoti. We will be starting a new section and um, after we get back or maybe during it, depending on service, um, I will put out some videos regarding that. So you can look forward to those and I'll see you out there on the trail. Got it all put away. One last bonus. Found Lucky Poles. We've got the hand grips with, and these ones are actually got the material where it's breathable. Um, it even tells you which pole goes on which hand. Um, we got the cork grip, but plastic at the top. Um, the little hook there holds the strap on. You got your adjustables down here with the, um, not the twist, but the clamp down type lock. Um, they did come with the bases too, so, um, but yeah, just wanted to show it to you real quick. All right, see you out there on trail. Y'all have a good day.